It was during a two-hour emergency meeting of the school board and briefing by City Attorney Philip Trapani and Assistant Jack Greer, a meeting later closed to the press, that the board reached a consensus to drop the class action part of its lawsuit. Eliminating school bus trips for elementary students is the focus of a suit filed on behalf of the board last month. Legal documents seek to reopen the 17-year-old Beckett school desegregation case, as well as name four black parents and their children in a separate class action suit. It's that lawsuit that the board has decided to voluntarily withdraw. School Board Chairman Thomas Johnson says it's because of economic hardships on the defendants and community pressure. It's been misperceived by the public. Uh, we wanted to go to court for the best of motives and somehow it's been turned around that we're uh, putting a hardship on people. And that's the driving force, I think, in our decision today to go back to our original game plan of just going through the, uh, the Beckett action and hopefully the court will hear us there. One of the defendants, Dr. King Davis, says it's a wise decision. I doubt very seriously that Tommy Johnson's concern about our financial loss was the major factor that brought about this, this decision. There's been a tremendous amount of uh, community reaction and community pressure and community outrage, probably far more important to him than, than our financial hardship. Another defendant, Carolyn Bell, with her attorney Kenneth Melvin present, says she's distressed the board is continuing its efforts to end busing. Their action today doesn't alter the fact that they attempted to inflict the highest form of intimidation possible on an American citizen by denying my right to free speech. Now that the board is pursuing its first case, the NAACP and possibly others are expected to respond in that case within the next week. In Norfolk, Ava Hurdle, The Daily News.